a look at the new Lumix Tether feature for the Panasonic GH5. So a couple of days ago, Panasonic released its highly anticipated firmware 2.0 for the Panasonic GH5, and with it brings a whole lot of new features, including this right here, tethering to a Mac or PC via USB. This is really cool because it allows you basically to monitor your viewfinder from your computer. It even allows you to outright control your Panasonic GH5. So you can see the Lumix Tether app there, and it loads up its version 1.0. It's not perfect just yet, but you can see right off the bat, there are a lot of functions available within this app. So you can obviously start recording if you wanna do that. And there's just a whole lot of other features. You can even change up the priority settings if you wish to do so. You can of course change your aperture right there on the fly. So if you have your, your studio set up, this is gonna be great for you. You can even go in and change white balance. You can switch between custom and some of the presets. You can change the ISO. You can even change the record quality. Now here's another big feature from firmware 2.0. There's now an all intra uh, codec here available for both full HD and for 4K. You can even get up to 400 megabits per second bit rate with that all intra 4K 10-bit 422 codec. Awesome, awesome features. Gonna make editing a little bit smoother in post. So you can see all those various ones there. So that is a big feature of firmware 2.0 in and of itself, separate from the, the Tether app. Um, so if you're a GH5 owner, you're gonna definitely enjoy that. You're gonna need some faster SD cards in order to fully accommodate these new video modes, but the option is there and it's great. And you can also change your photo style. So if you wanna go to a more flat profile, you can do that or whatever the case may be. And then if you click the LV button, you can open up the viewfinder right there right on your desktop. And you can even obviously start recording, but you can even drag your cursor around and change focus just like this. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. So it's really nice. In version 1.0 of Lumix Tether, you get this full display, basically turning your Mac or PC display into a monitor for your GH5. And then not just that, but there's other things within the monitor live view that you can enjoy as well. So you see up here, you have the grid you can enable. You have a histogram you can enable. You can even rotate the live view. So if you have a different type of monitor set up, you can do that to accommodate your monitor. And it's just really, really well done. It even tells you how much time is remaining on that SD card, it shows your battery life situation. You can Minimize it like that if you wish to. You can go into settings, change where your output's gonna be. And when you stop recording, look what it's gonna do. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna go ahead and transfer that file that you just recorded over to your desktop? And you can do so via USB 3.0. This isn't the slow USB 2.0. It's gonna be much faster than what you may be used to when transferring large files from your camera to your computer. And remember the GH5 uses USB type C, which is of course great for the latest MacBooks and things like that. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been a look at the new Lumix Tether app, which is available for those running firmware 2.0 on the Panasonic GH5.